experience is what you get when you don't get what you want welcome to the video session of mahindraguru.com wherein today we are going to have a final video session on the topic osi and the topic for today is the application layer the protocols that are associated with the application layer let us have a look on the location of the application layer the application layer is the seventh layer of the osi model or the topmost layer of the osi model this Seven layer architecture is important if we consider the PO examination as well as the SOIT examination. The layer number is an important point here to remember. The first layer that we have is the physical layer, the data link, the second layer, the network layer, the third layer, the transport, the fourth, the session, the fifth, the presentation, the sixth, and finally the application layer, the seventh layer of OSI model. If we talk about the application layer location, then actually we can see out here uh, that application layer is located above the presentation layer and is directly connected to the user or the user directly interacts with the application layer. Now let us have a view on the protocols that are associated with this layer. This layer is actually a rich layer if we consider the protocols. We have the majority of protocols that are practically in our use or we use it daily unknowingly but we use it daily. Let us have a view on the protocols. The first protocol that we have here is the DHCP dynamic host configuration protocol now what is dynamic host configuration protocol it is a protocol that automates the that automates the that automates the assigning or assignment of ip address to the devices now, dhcp or dynamic host configuration protocol the protocol is used for dynamically assigning the ip address now have a look this point should be remembered it assigns the IP address that to in a dynamically form dynamic format and along with the IP address it also assigns the service. Now what is the benefit of DHCP? The benefit of DHCP is it automates the process of assigning IP addresses to the devices. Now moving over to the next protocol that we have we have the DNS domain name system. Now what is DNS? It is a domain name system. Is it a domain name system? Is it a domain name server? What is DNS? DNS is actually a domain name system. It is a naming standard for computers connected to a network. Yes, we know. Now, what it actually does? It actually translates the domain name into the IP address. Now, the task performed by the DNS is a simple one. It translates the domain name, the human readable domain name into the IP address, the IP address. Moving over to the next protocol, the next protocol that we have here is IMAP, Internet Message Access Protocol. Now, what is IMAP? It is an email client protocol. The first point that we get here is it is an email client, email client protocol. The first point which is used to fetch or retrieve, which is used to fetch or retrieve emails from the mail server. The two points that we get here are that first of all it is an email client protocol and the second point it is used to fetch or retrieve emails from the mail server now these two points are important for the imap protocol moving over to the next protocol the next protocol that we have here is the pop post office protocol it almost works similar to the imap but basic difference there this protocol is used to fetch email from the remote server this is a point that makes a big difference. The POP is used to fetch, is used to retrieve emails from a remote server. Now, guess out the latest version of POP. Yes, the latest version of POP or post office protocol is, yes, it is POP3. The latest version of POP is POP3. The next protocol that we have here is SMTP, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. Majority of times it is used to send emails this protocol is used to send emails is it true it is used for both sending as well as receiving but we but if we consider the user level client then in that case it is used to send emails now this is a point to remember the, uh, the last protocol that we have here is the ftp file transfer protocol a very common protocol this protocol is used to share files in our client server architecture very simple the name is simple, the function is simple, to fetch 
or to share rather not fetching to share files between client as well as the server system as simple as that okay now we have the questions here let's see what the question is asking name the protocol used by user level mail client to send an email now you know the answer yes we have discussed this bit earlier the protocol that is used by the user level mail client to send an email yes the answer is yes the answer is very correct the answer is smtp this is simple mail transfer protocol now the next question is asking protocol used to dynamically assign ip address we have the keyword here dynamically yes the answer is very true the answer is d HCP dynamic host configuration protocol very simple questions and straightforward we have the answers with us now let us see what the next question is asking the next question is asking name the protocol used to retrieve email from the remote server now please go through the question it is asking from the remote server do we have the answer yes we we have now what is the answer the answer is POP post office protocol the latest version of POP is POP3. This is a point that should be remembered. That should be noted by you all. The latest version of POP is POP3. That was all for the video session of the application layer. The protocol is related with the application layer. Do comment us on www.mahendraguru.com and do subscribe your YouTube channel. That is www.youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Mahendra Guru videos. Your success is our success. Thank you.